Hello everyone, in this little After Effects tutorial, we're gonna make this simple squiggling line. Maybe it's mustard, maybe it's some kind of space worm. I don't really know what this is. This is a topic that was requested coming off of a basic patterns tutorial, if you wanna check that out. Uh, people wanted to know, how did you make that squiggling thing that you used in the pattern? Well, this is uh, that explanation. We use only shape layers, which is pretty great, and we should get this done pretty quickly. Let's see if we can get it under five minutes so you can get on making stuff. All right, so we've got After Effects open. Let's get into it. We're gonna make a new composition. We're gonna make a 1920 by 1080 composition. Just call this the uh, example. So should you uh, wanna get your hands on the project file for this tutorial, it will be uh, the thing that we make right now. I'm gonna start by setting up my composition window here. I'm gonna get the grid out there and I'm gonna get the proportional grid out there as well. So I can tell where the center line is. It'll be a little bit thicker and I don't really need the transparent grid, so I'll just toggle that off. Now, there's one more kind of guide that I want to put out there. I'm just going to double click the rectangle here. I'm going to hit UU, bring up its attributes, and give myself a 1080 by 1080 square here. 1080, there we go. And this is really just to guide us in creating this. There is some specific math and some numbers I'm going to call out, but just try to work visually, just in case you are not using the exact same numbers that I am. So let's make the square red, so we can kind of see what we're doing out here. Perfect. I'll just lock that so I don't touch it. And I'm going to grab the pen tool and we're going to give this a stroke, a white stroke of 40. And uh, we do not need a fill. So we're just going to draw, we're going to draw the path that will ultimately become the squiggly line. So here we go. I'm going to just draw it out, make sure this is snapping to the points. So now we have a line that we know is 1080 pixels long from one point to the other. But we don't want a straight line, we want a squiggly line. So we're going to rename the layer, we're going to twirl down, we're going to go into the contents, into the shape, we're going to add a zigzag. There we go, we've added a zigzag. Make sure it's in the stack here under the path, that can be very helpful. And the size, the size of the zigzag, let's make it 40. That's a good size. Looking real Charlie Brownie out here. And the ridges per segment, I'm gonna say eight. Let's go for eight ridges per segment. And we're gonna make it smooth, not corners, but smooth. So now this looks like what we want. We need it to move the way we want. And I accomplish that by adding a trim paths and I'm trimming after the zigzag, so that's kind of important. We could trim before or after the zigzag. So if I trim after the zigzag, that's how it looks. If I trim before, that's how it looks. So that's just what goes down. So after the zigzag, you get your trim paths. Now, how much do we want to trim? Well, I want to trim off just this last unit here, this last period, this last, if this were a wave, this last little bit from right here to right there. So I'm just gonna trim, 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 you know, by the numbers, if we really get in here real close, dial that in right there, 77.8. Again, these numbers are important for what I'm doing, but may not be applicable to you. Now I'm going to offset it. I'm gonna offset this thing. And so setting a keyframe on the offset, going ahead a little bit, it's going to offset so it goes right to the end here, right to the end of that square that we created. Cool. So that looks to be 80. I'm going to change the stroke from a butt cap to a round cap, which can be these rounded ends, which I would like. And you'll notice there's a little bit over here because at an 80 degree offset, we have a little bit peeking through over there. So I'll just take that back to 79.9. That's going to be close enough. So what does that do? Well, it's got this thing working its way through. This at the start should still be zero. All right, so it's kind of working its way through. And now I want it to move so that it's always in the middle. All right, it's always in the middle of this square. And I will do that by going to the transform of shape one and changing the position here. Thanks to some math that I've already done beforehand, I know if I bump this by negative 120, that's gonna put it right in the middle. And set a keyframe here, and that keyframe lines up with the other keyframe. Yep, right there. And now we're gonna go back to the beginning, and we're gonna set here 120. So it should always remain in the center. So it's just hanging out here in the middle, waving along. Pretty nice. I'm gonna hit U to call up all of these keyframes I've put in. Hold down Alt, click on the stopwatch, type in L-O-O-P-O-U-T, it's a capital O, and then some parentheses. I'm just gonna copy this. 
I'm just adding the loop out expression, which is going to continue cycling because we haven't written anything here in the argument. It assumes we want it to cycle. There are other methods and we cover the loop out on other videos on here, but it's going to continue looping this all the time. And you've done it. Congratulations. You've created a basic squiggly line. People asked and here it is. This is a fairly simple kind of method and if you're going to do it with your own squiggle, I would urge you to work visually and don't just punch in numbers and hope for the best. But that is it. It's just that simple. Just like it says on the tin. If you had trouble with this tutorial, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to get you through it. If you've enjoyed learning this little bit of motion graphics, this little bit of After Effects, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll know when new tutorials come out here. It's good to know. If you want to get your hands on the project file that we mentioned, head on over to evanabrams.com. Links to that are in the description, in the cards. And if you subscribe to the channel, then I will see you next time. Thank you so much and have a nice day.